Ah, spring never fails to be my favorite time of year. The birds are coming back north, the, the plants are all blooming and beautiful. And I mean, of course, the weather's getting warmer and those days, well, those days are getting longer. I heard a concept not that long ago about treating winter as your hibernation period, right? So the idea that, you know, less time outside and shorter days isn't inherently a bad thing. Animals hibernate for a reason, obviously. They're recharging and conserving energy. We don't necessarily need to hibernate biologically, but I don't know, I think I, I hibernated a lot this winter and I think it was a positive thing. You know, it gave me time to recharge a bit, gather my thoughts, get ready for the upcoming year. And well, lo and behold, winter's over. It's a beautiful day. The cherry blossoms are out, the air is warm, there's that infectious spirit when everyone starts coming out of their winter shells together. Oh, every year that just gets me. There's something beautiful even about the air right now. It's so fresh and clean. <sighs> Gotta love it. Gotta love it. For me, I associate spring with gardening. Man, my parents love gardening. Every Mother's Day when I was a kid, my dad and I would begrudgingly help my mom get the garden ready for summer. You know, digging holes, planting plants, watering things, raking, cleaning up the huge. Which would have been great and all, except for the fact that I was a stroppy teenager who would rather be inside playing video games than outside getting dirty. Why I oughta, why I oughta. It's almost like we live between two airports. Who'da thunk? Who to thunk? Do 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 do. Yeah, 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 yeah. But as times change, so do attitudes. And let me tell you, boy, these days I love a chance to get digging in the dirt and spend time outside, making flowers look nice. What more could a fellow want? But now, well now, any chance to dig in the dirt? sweat it out in the beautiful sunshine? Well, I'd jump at that. And that's exactly what I did. Good morning. What a beautiful day. Hmm. We've got lots to accomplish on the plot today. Yeah, bed cleaning, some planting, some, some helping out in the garden. It's gonna be great. I'm home for the weekend, and honestly, very few places I would rather be on a beautiful spring morning than back in Red Hook. So, lucky me. You hear that? I love bird song in the morning. Great way to start the day. Yeah, we'll see how much. Mom wants to be on camera. Something tells me not much, but we will see. Hello. Hi. Ready to get gardening? Vegetables. Woo!
What's your favorite part of spring? My favorite part of spring? Right now, when it's cool and everything's just kind of exploding and it's like 47 million shades of green. I love that, especially living here. And all the hostas, everything's popping up and it looks so good and I love it. Before all the weeds come and it gets hot and gross and I don't want everyone to be outside and those things. <laughs> What's your favorite part of spring? The return of the birds. Mm. Yeah, I kind of feel like they never really go. Around here, we don't have a ton of migratory birds, but this time of year in particular, the trees are still fairly barren, but the birds are becoming more active. Let's go ladies, we're on the clock, time to go to work. Didn't even, didn't even need this. This is my villain arc. Yeah, don't worry, Mom. These are OSHA approved sandals. about a cold beer after yard work. There's just something good about There's that. There's a correlation for sure. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. Oh, I can't <laughs> lean that far, it's too hard. Looking back at 14 year old me, your average unenthused schmuck of a teenager, it's definitely a bummer that I wasn't able to appreciate more what I had access to. Not everyone gets to go out in the garden and learn about planting flowers and vegetables. Even living in a small farming community, I was able to appreciate the value of growing your own food and local and organic produce, even seeing the farms that your food grows on. That's pretty cool. Even just the idea of being outside, using your muscles and putting your sweat into the soil to grow a garden that's beautiful for the eye and the fridge, there's a lot of value in that. And now I live in one of the biggest cities on earth. I mean, that's the Empire State Building right behind me. It's a lot harder to grow your little plants in a place like this. Now more than ever, I'm so thankful that I just get to pop up state just to play with some worms and dig up some hostas. And now more than ever, I'm super excited to see what the warm weather brings. My hibernation is over. I'm ready for new places, new people, new experiences, new whatever. So, here's to that. Whatever your plans for the summer might be, big or small, local or distant, just remember to appreciate them and the people you make those memories with. Until next time, woohoo!